first leg, it's Michael to throw first, game on. But as he has proved on so many occasions lately, there is simply a first time for everything. The number five seed against the number four oh, seed. Six. And a meeting in the last four against either James Wade or Nath uh, Nathan Aspinall awaits the winner of this one. Rob Malarkey in the chair alongside me for this clash of the titans. 82. Game. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. And quite frankly, we're not expecting anything better than Michael's previous game with Danny Novus. It was extraordinary. But if we do, all oh, well please, bring it on. 140. Yeah, Michael Van Gerwen was in all sorts of bother against Danny Nopper earlier today. He was 4-1 down, he was 5-3 down. But the pivotal moment... 93. Well, several, I suppose, but the key moment was that 132 checkout in the 10th leg that got him back on terms. There was a 160 checkout in the midst of all that as well. Oh, but Michael Van Gerwen... Conjuring up an average of 102.8 and just showing that ability to produce oh, the six. big moments Going and the big Key stages, the critical junctions of that particular encounter. And maybe just oh, maybe having got that title under his belt last weekend, we are going to see Michael Van Gerwen enjoy a new lease of life. That's a wide. 76. Good fix. Going to require 52. Could be too late with Price ready to snap this one. Lethal on tops. Not on this occasion. Double ten. Thirty-two. Let's off. off ben we Gigi. Had a few of those against Danny Nopper as well. Yeah, on the first leg. Ben Gigi pounces for the opener. The and the leg that could so easily have gone the other way. Yeah, they weren't happening earlier this year. I'm not talking about price missing. I'm talking about most people hitting against Michael Van Gerwen. When he was in position, he wasn't getting those second bites of the cherry against someone of Price's calibre. Oh, he's going to find 20. a way to get back into it pretty quickly. That was in the 60 if it wasn't for the oh, other darts. Four perfect darts from Gerwin Price. I'm still clinging on to the hope that we might see a nine darter this weekend. It would be a shame if we had a. European Tour campaign, albeit a very brief one without uh, a nine dark leg. Well, let's hope for more in 2022. Yeah, to make up for lost time. Do you honestly think we're going to get a nine tonight? Oh, I'm be surprised. Yeah, in this one. I've been known to get the old crystal ball out. I'm not feeling it. I really want to be wrong. Going to 117. 17 for tops. Missed the last time he was here. Yeah. Well, he's fixed That's that okay. little problem. 12 dollar, 1-1. One, one. This one is bubbling very nicely. And the one thing we do know 100. about this tournament, it has solidified the fact that the world number one is going to be the number one seed for the European Championship yeah, in Salzburg, a place which he likes because that's where he won the World Cup with Johnny Clayton. And we know his opponent is going to be Richie Edhouse. 140. MVG fan out there. Politely clapping along, hating this, probably. 140. Nice has hit a nine dancer on the European Tour two years ago in Prague. That was the first of his career as well. MVG, of course, has as well. 140. Also last year, or two years ago in Leverkusen. Yeah, that check darts up and nine dart and nearly broke my vocal cords. 91. Right at the end of a match as well. Perfect time to hit it. Yeah. Treble 13 for double 16. Yeah. Magnificent from MBG. Doesn't give Price a shot at the 170. This one all of a sudden has gone from bubbling very nicely to a bit of a rolling boil. Well, the crowd I think they were just dying for the opportunity to get involved in something because no disrespect to Sulevich and Ratajski that match. It was uh, played at a very pedestrian pace and it just didn't really engineer the chance for the crowd to get involved. But this is going to bring them to life, especially if we're going to see finishing like that and shooting like this as well. Straight down the middle and there's the reaction from Gerwin Price. I think you've been very kind there, you know, about the first couple of games. They weren't very good at all. 
100. I mean, Whitlock will be thinking, how have I got through against Brendan Dolan in a quarter final with an average of 85? But uh, I think Mencio would... Uh, 140. Turn to the fable quote, if you want entertainment, go to the circus. It was all about winning for Mencio earlier on. This is about entertainment, this is about titles, Wait, this is not. about winning. Going to go 123. And MVG just seems to have developed a bit of a rhythm now, hasn't he? I mean, some great moments for him, I think, just to get the juices flowing against Danny Noppert. Rob Cross accounted for yesterday. Price looking at 12. It's a very intelligent shot. Thought about it as well. Oh, Checked Michael's position. Oh. Go to by 12. Double six. You're tied. Again, we are tied. He's the man with the pressure right now, is Price. He's the one that doesn't have the darts. Yeah, MVG throwing first, and who knows, that may well prove telling. So far, four holes of throw. You asked a really interesting question of Dan Dawson and myself before this began, about Price's career before he got his first win against MVG. Great averages. And we know they can sustain that. Yes, they can. Yeah, go on. 18, did you say it matches 18, that he lost? 18 matches, uh, well, 18 matches without a win. There was a draw in the Premier League. 100. Uh, in 2019 in the, uh, in the group phase, obviously. He was getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And it took 97. a performance at the time, which I would categorise as his best performance in his career, to eventually get that win. Yeah, you're right, because yeah, they had the draw, no, then they have the 7-6 in the Dutch Masters, then it was 11-10 in the Champions League, then it was 6-5 in the World Series. He was knocking on the door, but then BG is knocking oh, on the door in this one. 32. Mm -hmm. I've got to say one thing about Michael Van Gerwen since last week. He's starting to make throwing darts look easy again. That is a Michael bad sign for everybody else. 12 darts thrown yeah. in a leg <laughs> means either the leg is over, well, they've left the door. That's where they're at right now. I think it's also safe to say as well that if you gave the average darts fan the ticket for any match you like, any two players, the vast majority would choose these two right now. If there were some other people who rebuffed that, they'd probably want snake bite. And they are the top three in the world for good reason. And if we needed three people to fight for the planet on darts, well, it would be those three playing. Yeah. 81. Who's going to make the first mistake? Price is the chaser. And Gerwin oh. is setting a very good pace. This is like a 1500 meter race, and we're halfway through it. It's about how good is your engine? How good oh, is your strike oh, pump? Can you maintain it and have enough to sprint through the last 100 meters? Yeah, and whoever gets the break, that's when you hear the bell to no, signify the last up. lap. Because you that's, I think you will just rest on one moment like that, I think. 143 here for Gerwin Price, not going to go. Yep. He's finding himself on 66 a lot in this yeah, game. 66 away this time oh, as well. 190. He's trimmed off. What is it going to take for Price to take the lead? It may have to be a 121 on the ball for a 12 if Van Gerwen does not convert. Double six again. Himself. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. not for long. That uh oh did not last three seconds. That is, without a doubt, for me, the best start of the match right there. Yeah, that's very awkward for Gerwen Price. Anyone double three is not ideal, but confidently taken out. Never any hesitation in that movement either just a lovely fluidity about the throwing action and uh, on we go at three apiece three holes each so oh, far a little slip there though on the MVG throw it's been a lot of attention for Peter Wright over the last hey, you want. few months winning the match play but are we potentially looking at a world final no, I do not. on January 3rd could be. A lot of people might want that final. 
Still a long way to go before we get there. Oh, but and I'm just tantalizing you just a little bit. It's almost autumn. Grand Prix's got to come first. Oh, and Two former champions. Might be 150. Well, after 12, oh, he's done it again. Yeah. Always leaving something minute after four visits. He saw Gerwin Price after his last visit. He knows yeah. he's got to get there quicker. There's yeah. a dancer yeah. in here for MDG. And I think it's going for a go. The best player of his generation against the best player right now. Six. This is where MDG can make his move, get the break. 5 3, throwing for the match in the next one. And 60 on the scoreboard for Gerwin Price. And Michael Van Gerwen's eyes may just have lit up there momentarily. He rises on top of those averages as well. 112.23 for MVG right now. I haven't seen him do this on the Euro Tour for a while. No. Seen him do it on the floor though. 100. In defeat to Daryl Gurney. Best losing average of the year, I think. 112 from Michael. 88. That was borderline silly, but look at that breakdown. Let's just take that 16 away at the front. Everything else, delicious. Yeah. 91. That 12 data for MVG coming with that 112 checkout. Yeah, Michael's been sipping from the cup of Callan Rids, not missing a double. Big chance here for MVG, you know. 82. But he doesn't like that final dart. Where has Gerwin got to get to here? 70. He's not going to risk it. Oh, 139. He's satisfied with that. that what final a dart for MVG could prove very significant. A lot of people will have thought that. Why didn't he go for the 180? Well, the second dart wobbled a little bit. He didn't want to displace it. He's got to watch his step here, though. Trouble 17 would have left Sops, and he's got a hope and prayer that Michael Van Gogh and Carl Pine is 51. But the way he's shooting right now, the way he's finishing right now, I fully expect him to do it. Double 16 for the break and a 5 3 lead. And that is a huge let off for Gerwin Price. I, like you, did not expect that to happen. I don't think Price expected it either. Tops for Gerwin Price, sure. Yes. 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 Well, two darts squandered by MVG for a 5 3 lead. And that will be bitterly frustrating because he knows that it's going to be difficult to engineer the similar opportunities. You know, I can really imagine when Gerwin Price is back home in Markham and Bethan says it's mixed grill for dinner and he has that reaction. Oh, I do not. <laughs> Imagine someone oh, seeing that on social media. But go, right? It's a best of three now. We want all three. The chance has been missed, though. 100. You said it, Rob. The chance was there. He's missed his chance. Is he going to get another? I'm, I'm not sure, you know, because I don't think I, I said at the outset there won't be many. No, oh, and that was a really good one. Missed us at double 16 and one at double eight. You'd fancy MVG to take one of those, but given the situation, the pressure was on. Understandable that he didn't. He is human after all. 98. Just short of that second 60 to leave a finish. Is it going to take something like a 167, a 170 to turn this match? 100. Like the 132 from the Notbad game earlier for MVG. 180. MVG. He's looking for. MVG was disgusted with that ton visit there because. 445. Might be 110. He's got to be careful here. Can't find the treble 18. Well, Price decided not to go for the 180 to leave double 12. He chose to give himself two at tops. Massive right in the middle. That is the break of throw. And he's now within one of eliminating Michael Van Gerwen from the chance of winning a Euro Tour this year. Backed himself Game. massively there to go in price, and yeah, it's double jeopardy, isn't it, for MVG? Missing those darts at double 16 and double eight, and then 
not finding that treble 18 that would have left the double for the ninth leg in the bag. Hey, well. not, hey. The margins are extremely fine as we always thought they were going to be, but now it's advantage go in price despite the fact he's kicked off at a 59 here. And MVG is all over that like a nasty rash. How many legs of this could you watch before you got sick and tired? Oh, well, well, I'm not four there. You're seeing 31. That's, yeah, that's boat race. <laughs> Michael fails to give us oh, the opportunity of a nine. Are. But Price has got to start 18s here. Stay. 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 Good oh, job. 62. Love really it. Consistency and rhythm from Gerwin Price. Superb game, full of adrenaline, full of noise. Gerwin is down on 82 after nine darts himself, you know, and Gerwin Price, for all his gusto with that previous visit, he needs this and it's not going to go. And Michael Van Gerwin could pounce with an 11 darter here. Four, and it's only like four we five as well, it's furious, but I don't think it will matter one jot because Michael Van Gerwin is in the mood here. Tops. Business at five piece. We are going all the way as we always thought we would. Despite the break by Gerwin Price, he couldn't fully capitalise. And it's another six-five special here in Gibraltar. He needed the 140 check out to win it. That is full credit to MVG. Because from 3 or 2, you're thinking with the 162 approach that maybe a ton and tops is enough. It wasn't. He needed to take the three or two in six. Fair the rock cross special. And again, he started sluggishly. 59. I think he started off with a 59 in the previous leg as well. 81. But this time, MBG hasn't really punished him. 379 after six. Opportunity knocks. Massive, oh, great adjustment on dart two. We have two again. And Van Gerwen has got to do something meaty here. 99. Now, does he go 18s here? It will be in his mind, yeah, he did. And this time he can't find the trouble with the first dart, so he switches back over to the Wences anyway. 95. Ooh, it's a bit tetchy, this one now. Flip of a coin job, I think, this one. There's a hush over this place. People engrossed. Biggest well, crowd of the week so far. And the biggest hush. Well, Gerwin Price is down to a finish first. Oh, and, the the third throw. and it's a very manageable 70. It will be treble 10 first. If he gets it, it will be two darts to get through to the semi-finals of the Gibraltar Darts Trophy for the first time. 70 points required, treble 10, two attempts at tops now for Gerwin Price. You would put your mortgage on this, and yes, that is exactly why you would do so. Gerwin, and Gerwin Price comes through another epic tussle between these two giants of the game.